Today, we're going to talk about patterns involving square numbers. Here we have a configuration of blocks. Here's another configuration of blocks. Now, if you can, if you can find out what is common between these, you can see that if you combine the centers of these, it forms sort of a triangle, right? Let's see that. So that's a triangle. And here we have another triangle. And that's why this kind of a configuration is known as a triangular number. These are triangular numbers. But what are these numbers? We have one block over here, right? And we have two blocks here. So combined, this is one plus two is total three blocks. Three is a triangular number. And what's this one? This is one block, two blocks, and three blocks. So this is going to be one plus two plus three is six. Six is a triangular number. Now here, we have another kind of configuration. And as you can imagine, if we combine the centers of these blocks, we get a square. Right? And that's why this is known as a square number. And what is this number? It's 3 plus 3 plus 3 is going to give you 9. 9 is a square number. And here's the interesting part. The interesting part is, could you imagine combining these two configurations to get this configuration? I'm sure you can. Right? So let's combine this. Let's put this slot, this block over here. And let's move these blocks over here. And voila! You can see that these are exactly the same configuration. And that is an interesting observation. We can say that combining triangular numbers gives us a square number. Let's see more in detail. So triangular numbers start with 1. 1 is our first triangular number. The, to get the next triangular number, what we need to do is we need to add the next natural number in line to the previous triangular number. So 1 is the first natural number. Next, we need to add 2 to the first one. So 1 plus 2 gives you 3. 3 is the next triangular number. And we take 3 and then we add the next natural number in line. So 1, 2 and we get 3. So we add 3 with another 3. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives you 6. 6 is the next triangular number. And similarly, we take 6. We take 6 and we add the next natural number in line. So 1 plus 2 plus 3. So after 1, 2 and 3, we get 4, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4. We add all of them together, we get 10. And as you can imagine, we can keep going with this pattern. So we have 1 plus 2 gives you 3. 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives you 6. Plus 4 gives you 10. And after 10, what happens? After 4, you would add 5, right? So you can imagine 5 blocks over here. That's 5 blocks. So after 10 comes, 10 plus 5 is 15. So we added 5 blocks to the previous number. And next, let's put our thinking gaps on. I'm not going to show you what it is. Let's think about it. So 15, the next number is 6 in line. And after 4 and 5, we get 6. 15 plus 6, that's going to be 21. And after 6, what's the number? 7. 21 plus 7 gives you 28. And after 7, it is 8. 28 plus 8 is 36. After 8, it is 9. 36 plus 9 is 45. And you can keep going and going. The great ones, calculators among you, can go to hundreds or even thousands. Good luck with that. So next, let's look at how we can combine these to get a square number. So this is the triangular numbers we found. Now let's see what's the first square number. This clearly looks like a square, right? This is a square, in fact. And that's why the first square number is 1. So 1 is both a triangular as well as a square number. Now, we try and combine these, right? I, I can, I'm sure you can imagine slotting this over here. So we get 1 plus 3. So 1 plus 3 gives you 4. So 4 is a next square number. So 1 plus 3 gives you 4. And we put them back. Now let's try and combine these. So we, we've done sort of, sort of before, but let's do it again. So we put this over here and we put these over here. So we get 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3 gives you 9. So 9 is the next square number. 6 plus 3 gives you 9. Let's put them back. Now, Let's move ahead and slot this and combine these over here. So we push this over here, we push this here, and we push this over here. So we get 10 plus 6 is 16. 16 is the next square number. So 10 plus 6. So we put it back and then we say 10 plus 6 is 16. Now we can keep going with this pattern, right? So next would be 10 plus 15. That's going to be 25. And that's going to be set of 5, 5 by 5 squares. That next is 15 plus 21 is 36, right? 
and then next 21 plus 28 is 49 and 28 plus 36 is 64 and 36 plus 45 is 81 and you can keep going and going and going so what we found from that is addition of consecutive triangular numbers gives a square number if you take if you write all the triangular numbers in order and pick any two of them consecutive any two consecutive triangular numbers and if you add them you'll always end up with a square number and that is our key insight and that was about patterns of square numbers see you in the next video